Uh, my name is William Mullen, and I'm a senior here at Midway University. And uh, this is my second year at Midway. I've really enjoyed my time so far. I've gotten to meet a lot of new people, a lot of great teachers. And I'm really excited about my, uh, my senior year finishing out. And today I'm going to be talking about the Essentials of Business Communication, Chapter 2, Planning Business Messages. So today uh, I'm going to discuss the, the five steps in the business communication process. And the first step would be the sender has an idea. And the second step needs to be the sender encodes their idea. The third step, the sender effect selects, channel, and transmits the message. And then fourth, the receiver decodes the message. And the fifth, the feedback returns to sender. So this is a very important process that we have to get right in writing a business message because if the message is not very thoroughly looked through and the sender and all five steps have to be perfect for this message to be right because this this message may not seem like a lot but when it comes down to it the business has to have this right or their company could be in deep trouble and it could come from people not getting along people the boss telling them what to do and then not doing it correctly and maybe even losing their job and yeah, the one of the big things is recognizing the goals of business writing you really got to know the the writing process and it, explaining how to guide a writer to write a business message it, it has to be pur purposeful economical and audience oriented if people aren't paying attention to your presentation or your message then what are you doing you're not you're not making any form for your company you're not doing anything good for your company it has to be perfect because when people start losing interest people start stop buying your product and and simple in the business world you can't have that happen because once you start losing buyers and start losing interest in your product your product will never make it back people start already having loyalty to their other brands they they want to buy other products from people and that puts your company in deep danger so uh, when you're pacing the writing process you want to have about 25% pre-writing 25% drafting and 50% revising as you can tell the the pre-writing and the drafting is it's very important like you need to know what you're gonna write about and you have to have all your ideas written out but you're revising is very important because it's the 50% and it means that everything at the end is usually the revising and it needs to be perfect everyone has to have a have an idea and uh, that's pretty much it on a business message you you really just have to talk to your company and your co-workers and make sure that everything is perfect for the final message and uh, Another thing I'd like to talk about is the the communication era that our, our companies and business world are moving to. We're, we're slowly moving to online. Like this presentation today that I'm doing, I'm in Prestonsburg, Kentucky at a golf tournament here in a hotel with my with a couple of my teammates. And, you know, like just because I'm in Prestonsburg doesn't mean I can't commute with my teacher, Miss Jones. She's in Texas right now, I believe, and hopefully having a, a safe time down there and uh, you know it's just great you can just communicate through zoom through video I'm videoing on my laptop right now and it's great you can just because I'm out of town doesn't mean you can't communicate with each other you could I could call someone from California right now and I could work from California and go to Midway and do zoom classes it's it's crazy times have changed so much and about the last year with COVID going down, it, it's really changed a lot of the way people have business meetings. You, people don't have to be together anymore. They don't have to fly across the country and make sure they're in the same room when they're doing these meetings. All they have to use is the, the new technology we're given today. And this is very advancing in our business world. And 
hopefully it'll keep growing and I think maybe one day this will be our final communication process the the world is changing every day and maybe this will be it where we have to use online oriented and it's really helping too with that with school people can zoom in the school and uh yeah that's uh pretty much it that i've learned the the chapter two was probably my favorite topic it had the the online communication skills that we need to know and uh that's very interesting to me because we use that every day now at midway we don't have any paper given to us it's all electronic and pretty much for you to get a job now in these times you have to have some form of communication knowledge and online technology knowledge or you will not succeed in today's jobs and that'll be all thank you